What's up guys, this is Farouk from the African Fighters. Face of Fight Night 2 is here, 18th March 2022, Echo Hotel, Lagos, Nigeria. This is organized by Kamaru Osman and, uh, and the African Knockout. So if you don't know, Kamaru Osman recently set up his um, promotion in partnership with the African Knockout, which is AKO. And they are now the owners of Face of Fight Night, the MMA promotion. So recently they put on the Face of Fight Night 1 uh, in Lagos, which consists of five, consisted of five fights. And now this is the Face of Fight Night 2 with nine fights just two months after so this is a great job by Kamaru Usman and the AKO they're doing fast fantastic job in Nigeria growing combat sport in Nigeria and this is very very exciting and uh, very encouraging so we're looking at the face of fight night 2 card uh, I'll be reviewing reviewing some of the fights and then telling you my picks my prediction and how the fights are going to play out as you can see just two fights have been announced um on topology the african knockout um page so you can see we have sheriff drame versus daniel emeka az big shark this fight is going to be a 170 70 pounds and also jackel ayana versus emmanuel ewe bernard a 145 pound division featherweight division so these are the two fight announced at the moment more fights will be coming up soon but for now i have the full card and i'm going to be walking you through the full card as you can see the full card we have the first fight of the night starting the event is going to be between Nani Chima versus Michael Ikenna that's the first fight and this fight is believed to be in the weight weight division 170 pound division and the next fight is going to be between Ambrose Godwin um, versus Damilari Abdurrahim Ambrose Godwin is 1 and 2 taking on Damilari Abdurrahim 1 and 1 this fight is believed to be in the 205 pound division, the light heavyweight division. The third fight is going to be between Richard Muzan, 0 and 1, taking on Ugo Chuku Melvin, 1 and 0. And this fight is also believed to be in the 205 pound division, light heavyweight division. The fourth fight on the night is a very fantastic fight. There's the featherweight bout between um, Jaquel Ayana, who is um, Jaquel Ayana, is 3 and 0 taking on Emmanuel Bennett 1 and 0 both fighters are undefeated in the MMA career so it's going to be a fun fight to look out for and the next fight is going to become the first um, human um, fight in the first of fight night event um, this is between Jane Osigwe who is 0 and 2 versus Chinyonye Ato who is 1 and 0 this fight is believed to be in the flyweight division human flyweight 125 pound division then the next fight of the night is going to be between Emmanuel Osiji, who is 2 and 2, taking on Richard Onem, who is 0 and 2. This fight is believed to be either in the 170 pound division, welterweight division, or the 155 pound division, lightweight division. Now, moving to the second co main event, this is a big one. It's going to be between Aivo Mawuki, who is 0 and 1 in his MMA career, taking on Shagun. Ogunoeki, who is also um, three in one. This fight is believed to be in the 185 pound division, middleweight division, or 170 pound division, welterweight division. Then moving to the cool main event, this is between um, Kinsley Ajua, Kinsley Ajua versus Cornell Thompson, the Marine boxer. Yeah, so this fight is going to be an exciting one, and. Um, um they, they will see how it plays out then to the main event we have sheriff drame three and one taking on daniel emika is big shark who is three and two this fight is believed to be in the welterweight division these are all exciting fights and we'll be looking at how it plays out awesome fights big shark one of the biggest um star in nigeria Big Shark was also the headliner of the Face of Fight Night 1 event. He was in the main event. He defeated Awiko, uh, Ayivo Mawuki via first round KO. Cornell Thompson also another big star in Nigeria. And also have um, Big Sh um, Shagun 
uh, machine gun shakes uh, ogunno eki these are the top top names in nigeria mma space so uh we'll see how this card plays out now we'll be looking at the first three fights um um to kick off this card the first one is between nani chima and michael ikenna nani chima michael ikenna this fight is believed to be in the 170 pound division the welterweight division um, nani chima is zero in zero and michael ikenna is three in zero so now let's take a look at their stats michael ikenna three in zero like i just mentioned like i said most of these nigerian fighters have kickboxing background um some with a bit of wrestling he fought uh, last at ofu one fight ultimate um in december last year um michael um ikenna has defeated emmanuel ocg via decision victor doga via submission and also ishola olatunde via unanimous decision so you can see um Mike Aiken has two decision win and one submission win, which is fantastic. Um, he's undefeated, three and zero, and he'll be taking on Nani Chima. Nani Chima is making his MMA debut, pro MMA debut. So you can see he has not fought any fight, no record, nothing to talk about. So Nani Chima will be coming in. He has experience fought in kickboxing fights PFC2. He defeated Abel Emmanuel via KOTKO. So Naichima has is familiar with, with the combat sport space, but this is his pro debut. So how do I see this fight playing out? So um I see Michael um Ikenna um winning this one. He's the experienced fighter. Experience to his advantage, two in zero. I'm not ruling out um Naichima. He's also going to come out and put on a show, but I think it's going to be easy work for Michael Ikenna winning either via knockout or via decision. But never write the kickboxer Nani Chima out. He can come out and pull up a shock and start his career with a win as well. So that is it for this fight. So moving on to the next fight on this card. Um we have um, Ambrose Godwin who is 1 and 2 against Damilari Abdurrahim who is 1 and 1 and this fight is going to be a fun fight let's take a look at their record and their stats Damilari Abdurrahim is 1 and 1 Damilari um, last fought um, at the face of fight night AQ event um he's coming off a defeat he lost to he won his first fight against um chris frank at lome fight night seven and he lost his recent fight at the ak face, face of fight night one against melvin Ugochuku. so um this is going to be a fun one we're going to see how um damilera abdurrahim is going to bounce back um in this fight as he takes on um Ambrose Godwin who is one and two. Ambrose Godwin is the most experienced fighter. He's currently on the one fight winning streak. He last fought at um the AKO show which was held in 2020. Um he defeated Daniel Okechi um via um, via leg um via KO. He was lost to Indidi Aluno and also lost to Daniel Big Shark. Daniel AZ. So it's going to be a fun one. I think Ambrose is the most experienced fighter on the one fight winning streak. His confidence is on his edge. He's going to be looking at how to come into this fight and um and defeat um Damilari uh, Abdurrahim. So my prediction for this fight is that I see um Damilari as the experienced fighter when it comes to fighting the face of fight night event. He already fought in the face of fight night event the turn around five pound division this fight is going to be in the turn around five pound light heavyweight and um i see them Larry trying to bounce back from the defeat to melvin ugochuku he's going to try to get a win and um he's very good and uh, is very good a very good kickboxer the problem is that his cardio is not that top level 
he gassed out after the first round or first two rounds so we'll see how ambrose godwin is going to capitalize on that and um and how the fight is going to play but i think this fight is going to be an exciting fight um anyway i still going to i'm still going to give dami larry abdrahim the edge i think he can win this fight via decision or via first round or second round kotq but if he gassed out early as he used to in his previous fight I think Ambrose will capitalize and will finish this fight either via knockout, submission, or decision. So this is a very tight one, but I'm still going to stick to Dami Lara Abdurrahim for the victory in this one. So moving next to the next fight, um, we'll be looking at Richard Muzan. Richard Muzan, who is 0-1, we're taking on Ugochuku Melvin, who is 1-0. So this fight is also... I'm going to be a 205 pound division. Um, speculate, I'm not very sure, but I'm well, well, suspecting it's going to be a 205 pound division. So it's going to be an exciting one to see how this one also plays out. Richard Muzan is 0 and 1, like I mentioned earlier. He last fought at the AKO Face of Fight Night event um, 1, and um, he lost to um, a veteran of the game. Um, the name of Emmanuel Onoja he lost via decision. It was a very tough fight. Um, then I'm um, looking at Melvin Ugochuku. Melvin Ugochuku is one and zero. He also fought at the face of fight night. Um, one event defeating um Abdurrahim, Namilad Abdurrahim, and um, so these guys uh, have a very very um young um career. Um, with just one fight apiece. So. For me, I think our favor will go Chuku Melvin this one. Coming off fresh um, with the victory in the previous um, event, he's going to be so motivated and ready to go. Never write out Richard Muzan. Muzan is always coming in to put on the show. He's a very good kickboxer as well. So Muzan can also take this one, but I see Melvin winning this fight by decision. So guys, don't forget to like, comment, sh um, share your thoughts in the comment section. Tell us who you think is going to win this fight. And, um, Make sure to subscribe to our channel, turn on post notification. I'll see you in the next video where I'll break down the many fights. Peace.